function that goes from the natural numbers including 0 to the integers and we let it be defined by n going towards n over 2 if n is even and negative n plus 1 over 2 if n is odd I claim that this particular function is bijective that is it's 1 to 1 and on 2 so in order to show someone that we would have to make an argument here that this is 1 to 1 and on 2 so let's start off with an argument of the injectivity or the 1 to 1-ness so to do that let's say f of m equals f of n so in other words we'll say two inputs are giving me the same output now there's a couple cases we have to consider here if you look closely at the definition you'll notice that the top branch of the definition is giving me positive outputs because n always came from natural numbers or zero so I guess non-negative would be more technical but the bottom branch is always giving me negative results so the FM and the FN are either going to be positive or negative it's going to be one or the other and it's going to cause the other to follow along with it so let's do case one case one if FM happens to be bigger than or equal to zero if it's not negative then so must fn be right if one of them is positive and they're equal to each other then the other one must be positive uh, sorry non negative again <laughs> but if they're non negative that must mean that they came from the top branch so therefore since they came from the top branch that would mean that m over 2 would be equal to n over 2 and so multiplying both sides by 2 would force m to be equal to n so if the outputs were the same the inputs must have been the same if they were both non-negative now how about case 2 well if fm happened to be less than 0 then so is f n of course and that must mean that both results came from the bottom branch but then we would have that negative m plus 1 over 2 would be equal to negative n plus 1 over 2 and if we multiply both sides by 2 we get negative m plus 1 equals negative n plus 1 subtract 1 from both sides negative m equals negative n and then divide or multiply by negative 1 to yield m equals n so in either of these cases if they were both positive they came from the top branch sorry both non negative they came from the top branch if they were both negative they came from the bottom branch but in either case if fm equals fn then m equals n and we are injective okay that's half of bijectivity then now we have to do ontoness or surjection so on this next page let's go on to and we're going to give an argument that this particular function is on to. Remember, my codomain was z, so let's let z come from the integers. Okay, again, we're going to do a couple cases here. Case one, if z happens to be bigger than or equal to zero, let's choose the natural number, choose n equal to 2z. <coughs> let's call this n sub z so n sub z equals to 2z notice that this is certainly an even number therefore we'd have to follow the top command so what would f of n z be equal to so then f of n z would follow the top rule which was n z over 2 n z was defined to be 2 z over 2 and that's equal to z so I found an input that was sent to the output of z. Okay, how about case two? Well, if z happens to be a negative number, let's choose n sub z to be equal to negative 2z minus 1. Negative 2z minus 1. Notice that this is an definite odd number because I multiplied by negative 2 and then I subtracted 1 so that means it would be following the bottom branch rule so then f of nz would be equal to see since it's definitely odd it'll be on the bottom rule so it would be negative negative 2z minus 1 plus 1 all over 2 which would be negative 
See, those will cancel out, so you get negative of negative 2z over 2. Now we get the 2's to cancel out, we get the negatives to cancel out, and lo and behold, again we get z. So z was an arbitrary element from the integers, and using arguments we were able to find a value that would be sent to z if the z happened to be a non-negative number, and we found an element that would be sent to z if z were a negative number. So in either case, we found natural numbers that would hit that particular integer, and therefore this function is also onto. And this completes the proof.